everyone, welcome to the Power Play with CJ, Tony Ferguson, on uh, Brad Marchand entering the elite conversation by every journalist kissing his ass during the World Cup of Hockey. This is going to be kind of some random ramblings. I talked, talked about his contract yesterday, all that shit, but obviously the line of him, Crosby, and Patrice Bergeron, headlined by Sidney Crosby, has been, you know, excellent in the World Cup for Canada. And, you know, Boston fans saying, you know, it's, it's ridiculous that Crosby's getting all the ink he is. And, uh, Sidney Crosby proved he's still the best hockey player in the fucking world. And all due respect to Bergeron and Marchand, but, I mean, you put any two wingers with Sid and they're going to do work. That's not to discredit what Marchand and Bergeron have done in this tournament. But don't lose sight of the fact their center is Sidney Crosby. So, you know, let's talk about Marshawn entering the, you know, elite category and, oh, he's one of the ready to break out. First of all, he's 28 years old. He is what he is. And I think last year was uh, not exactly the status quo with him. But either way, my thing with Marshawn is good player has his warts. That's all. I mean, stupid penalties. Goalless streaks that sometimes get into double-digit games, all that stuff. But, you know, my issue with uh, all this talk is I think it takes away from how good of a player Sidney Crosby is. You know, though Bergeron and Marshawn have established chemistry. You put them on a line with the best player in the world down the middle. Obviously, good things are going to happen. So, don't lose sight of that, Bruins fans. But, you know, is the World Cup going to be in last year's season, the contract extension, going to be a springboard for Marchand to have, you know, a 45 goal season this year. No. I think if he's lucky, he'll get back to 35. Otherwise, he's going to be back to being that, you know, 20 to 28 goal scorer that, you know, he's established himself to be. Which, again, he is what he is. But this will talk about him taking that next step. The, unless the Bruins trade for Sidney Crosby, which I would not be averse to, you know, as much as they need help on defense, I think Sidney Crosby could help the team. You know, I think he, I think having Sidney Crosby would make the Bruins a better team. I don't know if that's a hot take or not, but um, you know, he, he's gonna go back to being, you know, the player that he is. And you know, this will talk about, you know, Bergeron's in that same stratosphere as Crosby. Give me a fucking break. Bergeron is an excellent two-way player. Him, Jonathan Taves, and Andre Kopitar are the three best two-way centers in the game. But they're like, they're here. Crosby's like up here. Like, and you know, Taves is probably closer to. Yeah. Taves is halfway between Crosby and Bergeron. Best way to describe it. And that's not to discredit any of those three players, but you know, probably go Sid, Taves, and then Bergeron and Kopitar, in my eyes, more or less the same player. And I know someone's gonna bash me for saying that. Either some Kings fan thinks Kopitar's better or some, you know, uh die hot black and gold Quincy, Massachusetts guy is gonna be like Bergeron's better than Kopitar, which okay, whatever you say, dude. Um, but anyway, stick that dish on that. That's all you got episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the off season and beyond. Later, guys.